What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading. Coming at you today with another daily trade review. Today, what is the date today? April 22nd. Um, good, good, decent day in the market today. We finishing up green, but um, slow day, slow day. We only traded one stock today traded xom and um i think we had one red trade and then had some green trades but we left a ton of money on the table today left a ton so let's look at the um get the watch list pulled up you see it's very thin we weren't watching many ideas at all i had um iwm on there to go short, didn't take a trade on it. We had Microsoft to go low, didn't take a trade on it. XMO or XOM, let's get it right. We did trade this one a few times. Um, was looking to take some trades on the SPY, but never did. We just stuck with XOM. We took a trade on VLON and our other account and our main account solid decent trade on that one we got in um we got in this one just off of the open or just uh, leading into the open pre-market and then we got out of that one right at the open pretty much just like the, the one that we traded yesterday i think it was cyn um it made a move off the open and then it just kind of flushed down the rest of the day so um didn't make the move that we needed to make to keep going, but made a green trade on it nonetheless. So let's go ahead. Let's get trader view pulled up. We'll take a look at the details. I keep saying I'm going to change. I got my keyboard set up with hotkeys for OBS so that I don't have to be looking at OBS. But that particular hotkey... Um, seems to function as something else so i need to fix that but as you can see closed pnl on the day 104 um, took three trades one of them was red uh and the other two green we traded this in our main account as well and got away with it i got away with something that was a, a snafu on my part today i wanted to buy four puts and I put the order in on active trader didn't notice I had that order on there hit buy to ask and it ended up filling both orders so I ended up with eight puts on this thing and it immediately went red and um it finally turned and we got out of it for a green trade but probably left a good four five hundred dollars on the table if we just would have stayed in it which we know would not have been the thing to do so we just got out of that one just happy to get out green on a, on a on a mistake that we made um smart thing to do would have been to just go ahead and sell those four that we didn't want to buy and then let the other four run like we had planned on trading them but let's go ahead let's get trader view pulled up um and if you hadn't already hit that like button please do so please hit that like button for me um if you're not subscribed please think about subscribing if you're checking it out um like i say i do these reviews every day so let's go ahead let's get started this is the spy that we have pulled up right here look at this this was a thing of beauty like i said i wanted to take a trade on it but didn't get one in we see that this broke off of yesterday's low and just pulled down the entire day. But let's look at what we were trading. XOM. We see XOM um, opened at the low, dropped, made this nice pull off the open. And then it finally caught traction on what the market was doing and just flushed down. 
but we see that it was on its own page. I'm going to put the um, spy up at the upper right chart. And we see that the spy was just fading all day. And while the spy was fading, XOM was just showing strength. But market never turned to give it some help. And it finally rolled over and it went down with the market. And we were patient today. We didn't get in our first trade on this until 10 o'clock this morning. Let's go ahead. Let's take a peek at what we were looking at. Um, let's blow these up a little bit. So our first trade that we took um, puts and we got in at 10 o'clock. Let's see what we were looking at. No clue. Actually, I'll tell you what I was looking at. This was kind of flagging. It had made this move. It had started flagging. And I bought right here to play it back down. No real pattern. There was no real pattern. We had the 50 right here, which we see that it was respecting the 50. So if anything, it was going to come right back down to that. But got in 10 o'clock and 43 seconds. So as this had kind of pushed down, we were getting in it. And then we see it push back up. And we got out of this at 1010. Let's see where 1010 is at. That would have been that candle right there as it's pushing back up. And look, just look at that. Had we held this through this candle, it finally did what we wanted it to do. But we stopped out right there for a $22 loss. $22 loss. Um, Again, take the stop. This is one of those, though. It's like, man, had I not taken the stop, I would have made some money on this trade. But, and then look at, listen to these numbers, because all of these, all these puts were on the, or all these trades were on the same put contract. So this was an April 22, $87 put that we were buying. You see how close we were to the money, but we paid $25 per contract stopped out at $14 so lost $22 on the trade but let's just look at these as we progress through these um, recaps so that was our first trade second trade again same same contracts uh, we bought two of them again this one we got in at 10 20 Let's take a look. 1020 would have been this candle here. Um, like I said, one thing, I am not looking at the one minute when I am getting in these trades. So that kind of changes the, the view up. We'll change it to a two minute once I put when we got out of this one. So we got in right there. Um, as it had came up, got a little top heavy. And when this came back down and it didn't set a new high, that's when I wanted to be in it. I did want to see one second red candle before I got in, though. I didn't want to get in um, right after this candle. I wanted to see one more second candle, which let's see if it's going to look like that on a two minute. But got in right here. And we got out of this one at 1048. So we stayed in this one a good little ways. 1048. So we got out down on this candle right there. So got in there, two contracts, paid $25 a contract. So we were in this trade for $50. $50 is what we was in this trade for. And we got out of these for $62 a contract. We made $74 on this trade just hanging in there. So let's look at the two minute real quick though. See what we were looking at. So in two minute, we see we had, this is, 
nice little flag that broke down. And that's why we were getting in this, because it was breaking the opposite way. Came on up, stopped us out. Second trade, we got in as this candle here was forming and breaking. And we rode it all the way down until the previous day's low. And then we got out of that trade. And let's take a peek at the five minute while we at it and see what it was looking like on the five. So you look at this on the five minute, you can see that's really a bad trade. Um, even, even though it's kind of extended, still no confirmation that this is going to go back down lower. So this one here with this nice top and tail on the five minute is confirmation for the two minute trade. And that's what we took it on was the two minute chart. And then our last trade of the day, guess what? It was on XOM again. And this one we got in at 11.18. So let's see what we were seeing at 11.18. 11.18 would have been that candle right there. And if you look, you see that it had been testing previous days low and I wanted to get in when it broke that area right there. That was kind of acting as a little bit of support and kept bouncing it up. But once it broke it, I wanted to be a part of it. So got in right there, stop up top and look at what that thing did. Beautiful move to the downside. And we got out of this trade at 1034. So we were getting out on this candle as it was coming back up. $52 we made on this trade. Now these are the same contracts that we were paying $25 for. So listen to these numbers. We paid $68 for these contracts. because We've moved down pretty good into the money sold these for $94 so made $52 on the trade and um, that was it for the day and again let's look at what charts we would have been looking at and see how it looked so this is that same trade on the two minute again getting in as it breaks this area stop is up here and this made a nice move down Nice move down. And again, let's see what it looks like on the five minute. And we get that same picture. Breaking this area. But as you can see, the five minute is so much cleaner. Probably wouldn't have got out of this had I been looking at the five minute. And once I got out and I kind of stepped away from my computer. And then I came back and I looked and I seen where the contracts were trading at. I was like, man, I definitely got out of that trade too soon. But this is where looking at the higher time frame, um, it definitely changes your perception on how the trade is looking. Because like I said, if we look at the two minute, it's a little choppy coming through there. Got a lot of, got a lot of movement. One minute really going to have some movement on it. Um, so where are we at on the one minute there we go on the one minute we see that this is pulling back and doing all kind of choppy things but then when you look at it on the five minute it's just so much cleaner and smoother going down and like i said definitely probably could have stayed in this one till about right here on the five minute chart but 50 bucks not gonna complain um and then, like I said, in my main account, I was sitting on eight of these puts. And um, once it turned and got got um, got um green, we were good. Let's get out of that. Made whatever little money we had made off of them, and we were good. But this last trade, we sold those contracts for $94. If we come over here and look at where that contract 
April 22, $87 puts. It closed at 167. 167. So we definitely, definitely left a little money on the table today, but for the most part, I got what I wanted out of these trades. Um, at first trade, again, this was one of those trades, just taking a chance on it coming back down. So that was a bad trade, but just look how close we were to being able to sit in that trade and just let it ride out. And really, had that been one contract and we only paid the 25, we literally could have held that contract to the end of the day because the one contract is what we were risking, $25. And that thing would have been at 167. So we would have made almost 150 bucks off of a $25 trade. So again, that's the beauty of options. But this is going to be a quick one. We are done. Um, I get a little, little studying in this weekend. Be ready to take on the market again on Monday. But hope you all have a good weekend. And we will see you back at it Monday. Peace.